was some, I don't know what year was that. Like, we were pretty demanding on our power play, right, in Philly. That's why I think we were so good mm -hmm. because we were demanding if one power play didn't go well. All right, you started looking around, you're like, all right, guys, like the fuck up. Yeah. The second power play step in and something got, got screwed. It was a battle, like on the bench, like, oh, yeah. Fuck you, G. Fuck you, Simmer. <laughs> Simmer's bitching at us. Then fucking, I'm getting between them, and then I fucking, you know, telling Simmer to go fuck himself. <laughs> That's the <laughs> truth, too, and man. Simmer's telling me, fuck it, let's go, let's go right now. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it settled. We go out on like far play and they start start zipping yeah, around. Right, yeah. We come back and we just all right, that's the way to do it. It's, it's and after after the period, you come to the locker room and we just laugh about it. You yeah, know? Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. It's, so it's one of those things too. Like you've seen it, Rob. Oh, yeah. When you guys would do that, I'd just be like, like, oh god, like, yeah. you know what's going on. And then, like you say, you go out, you score a goal, and everybody's yeah. happy. But yeah. if we could have had like that stuff, Mike. Just, oh man! Yeah. Just gold, to go back later, gold. you laugh your ass even, off. Even with Chief, you know, I, oh, oh god, my, Chief was like, I basically I grew as a player under him. Like, you know what I mean? I, I had a break breakout seasons under him, 13, 14, 14, 15, and uh, like the shit he said sometimes to like, oh my god, like I was <laughs> seriously like you couldn't go on the ice because you were laughing for so long. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. Off the ice, he says something and he started laughing, and then it was your turn again. Two and a half, three minutes left. And you just you jumped on the ice and you were still smiling, you know, like oh, yeah. Rafi. Remember with Raf? Oh God! Yeah. So Raf was wet. It was like three or what, whatever, or clear cut two on one, three on two. I can't remember right now correctly. And somebody from the other team called for a draft. So, <laughs> so Raf went. That was right by the bench. Raf went, and he just dropped it to him. Gone the other way, two on one. Absolutely, <laughs> oh, you know, they didn't okay. score. <laughs> you know, Rafi's face like. Oh, yeah. What was that? <laughs> and then she goes like, Rafa, are you fucking brain dead or so? And then all of them just started the dying laughing. Is, and you know, Rafa's laughing. And Rafa's like, <laughs> like, that was uh, such a good memory, man. Like, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's fun. There's so much, so many little things that are happening, you know, it just makes you crack up. It's, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. When he was an assistant, when Lavi was here, like, there was the same thing. So there was me, Simmer G, and then Chief would hop in. So we had a four way battle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then when he was a head coach, obviously you, you can pull that shit as much, but you know right. what I mean? Like yeah. kind of, if you disagree, kind of talk it out on the bench in front of young guys or whatever. But uh, yeah, I remember 13, 14, he was, he was really, when he took over, he was really hard on me, even harder than when he was an assistant coach. Or when an assistant coach, he take it as a, as a fun, some kind of way. But as a head coach, you're like, all right, fuck, like. Chief, like, what do you want from me? You know what I mean? Like, did I steal your fucking lunch money or what? Yeah, right. And he just started dying laughing. He was like, no, I'm just fucking pushing you, man. Relax. I was like, all right, fair enough. And I just absolutely took off. That was the, yeah, that was the year when I think G didn't score for like 16 games. Remember? We yeah. had a bad start. And, uh, and then G went on to being a candidate for MVP. And uh, we lost to Rangers in the game seven. Game but, seven, yeah. But uh, we didn't have much depth in right. that year. And uh, he just absolutely... He, one of the best, probably the best coach I ever had. Yeah. Montreal, I was preparing I for a season. And I got a phone call from Scott Housen from Columbus. He got traded to Philadelphia, which was shock for me. I didn't expect it, obviously. Yeah, so uh, flew down here for press conference. And uh, Barry Hanrahan picked me up at the airport. He was like, oh, there's a list of numbers you, you can choose from. I'm like, all right. Well, does anybody run in 9-3? He was like, nope. He was like, well, it's not here. He was like. Mr. Snyder doesn't like it. I was like, yeah. all right. Yeah. Wow. So I yeah. took yeah. first number one. So I took number nine yep. in a training camp and I just didn't like it. You, you kept know? saying to me, yeah. I, like, I want to let fucking nine three. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but I didn't want to go. I was a new guy, I was right, a young yeah, guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wasn't yeah. sure. So then after, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it one more try. So I went up to Paul Holmgren and uh, I was like, Homer, like, is there a chance I can wear 93? And with his, he just sitting there, he's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Homer is? So we changed it to 93, but uh, yeah, in the summer, I uh, basically, I didn't have a contract. I was restricted free agent. And I remember that Phyllis sent the offer. And uh, when my agent, Peter, was talking with Homer about me signing that contract, he um, he was agent of Yags as, as well. Oh, okay. So oh, okay, basically, yeah. Homer, Peter, with one phone call said, uh, nice. yeah, we agreed to that. And Yags agreed to do his contract in Philly as well. So we signed at the same time, basically. Oh, and. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got here and it was amazing. I mean, you know, Prongs, Yags, Kimo, mm. yeah. Danny Briere. You know, it was a, it was a good team and uh, and uh, you know, 
basically I was I wasn't playing as much as I do right now or as much as I did after but uh, you know I think my game was at a solid level and uh, I knew I was gonna break out eventually and uh, you know it was uh, it was one of the best moments for me to play that first year in Philly and enjoy everything and kind of get used to that winning culture and uh, you know be part of that team and it was that was awesome everything uh, since since that day I got traded everything just took off so that outdoor game yeah his you last know what I mean? one his last yeah. one and uh, he kind of expected he was going to get traded but then you never know right? you're hoping he's yeah. not yeah. yeah so it was kind of bittersweet but you know it is what it is you hope for him to do the yeah. job as he can you know in the future and uh, and we're still in touch and we were roommates for three years i have a couple of stories as well yeah <laughs> yeah it was uh it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun we we got along pretty well yeah he was awesome What's it been like? I mean, this is you going into your tenth year with the Flyers now, and uh, just the city of Philadelphia, and um, this is uh, it's just adapting to the culture here. And and uh, you know, again, m- not many players get to play in one city for ten years. Yeah. So you can talk to that a little bit. Yeah, kind of. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, "Fuck, it's my tenth year already here in the Philly. That's pretty good." Oh you know? yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta do something. Here yet. <laughs> you gotta do something right to stay here for such a long time. And uh, yeah, it's like my second home. You know, like I mean, if you're, I don't know. If you would be anywhere for 10 years, if you would call it a second home, but Philly is awesome. I mean, you know, you have four sports teams, you have a great restaurant, you have just every time you play at home in front of the crowd, it's it's demanding 100%. Yeah. Shoot, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. But, uh, I got lose it. <laughs> they don't understand it. I know. With, with my shot from top of the circle, wrister. When the, there is no one in front of the net. There is no fucking way I'm scoring. Yeah. Like I don't know what would have to happen. The goalie pull is growing and just fall yeah, out right. of the net yeah. or something. I don't know. I'm not scoring. So you know, with me holding the puck extra second and then finding the empty seat, uh, the open seam somewhere back door or something, that's better option for me than just wrist it at the net. You know what I mean? Like, and everybody's trying to change me right now. Like, I still have some people, not like the fans, but overall from the hockey communities. You gotta shoot more. You gotta shoot more. I was like, guys, do you understand that you guys don't have the vision as I do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, yeah. I see the ice completely differently than you. Yeah, right. And you standing in a completely different uh, uh, angle. Right. That I'm having a puck right now. Like I see different things. Right. Obviously. Yeah. When you yeah. go, I like. I, my favorite thing is that when you go into a one. I would say when I'm going to a one, eight out of ten, I make the pass through the D. And if he hits it right, it's a it's a goal, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So, but two out of the ten fans, if you fuck up, they're like, "Oh, you should have shot it." Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, yeah, should have shot it. Like, if I make that pass, which I usually do, like it's a goal, right? Like, shot it. Yeah, right. Of course, I should have shot it if I fucked up that. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need yeah. to say after you know the what fact, I mean? right? Like, yeah. thanks for advice. Yeah, you know? yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It just, uh, yeah, but it's it's fun. You know what I mean? It's fun to play here. It's fun to, you know playing those home games and uh, you know because if you go if the team goes the, and the people pushing awesome. you and pushing you and yeah. you can absolutely do things that you couldn't do in any other cities I think